This week is the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, CES. It's where tech companies showcase the latest in futuristic nightmares. And this year hasn't disappointed. While the Consumer Electronics Show is set to take Las Vegas by storm this morning, one computerized companion won't be there. Take a look at the moment a self-driving Tesla Model S mows down a robot in the street. This promobot's damage will prevent him from appearing in this year's show. <laughs> oh, wow. A self-driving car mowed down a robot pedestrian. <laughs> and you know what's funny about this? Is that as humans, we're so narcissistic, we always assume that when the robot apocalypse comes, the robots will be coming after us. We've never once considered that robots probably hate each other just as much as we do. <laughs> yeah, that car probably saw the robot and was like, hey, Wally, kill yourself. <laughs> Yo mama was a Roomba, ha, 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 Also, is it just me or does that robot look like it was trying to get hit by the car? Because what is the robot doing in the middle of the road? It's probably got some insurance scam going, you know? Like the robot was just like, oh, ow, ow, got me. A story about a gender reveal party that turned into a disaster. And I mean, it started as a disaster because it was a gender reveal party, but <laughs> things only got worse from there. They thought they'd planned the perfect gender reveal. Then this happened. Gender reveal gone wrong. Oh, man, strike out! This couple can't pop the big balloon. Instead, this happens. Not her order! Bye-bye, balloon. Dad makes chase, but can't make it over that fence. <laughs> oh, man. All right, kid, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl, but I do know your dad's a little bitch. <laughs> That's what we learned. What kills me about this video is they went after the balloon like it was the only way to know their kid's gender. <laughs> like 10 years from now, the kid's gonna be like, Mom, am I a boy or a girl? They're like, we will never know until we find that balloon. <laughs> and the balloon, the balloon flew away like it was woke as hell. The balloon was like, I reject the premise that this gender is something that can be predetermined. <laughs> that was wild. Uh, you know how everyone always tells you to not text while driving because it can lead to a disaster? Well, this next driver should have taken that advice. Please stop what you're doing and take a look at your screen. Check out a major fail after a man passed his driving right. test. Just 10 minutes later, yeah, that same man, he drove his car into a river. It happened in Southern China. Reports say he was trying to avoid those pedestrians on the bridge. Apparently, he was reading, get this, messages on his phone <laughs> congratulating him for passing his driver's test. <laughs> There are, there are so many things about this story. First of all, he was trying to avoid the... Why didn't he just stop? <laughs> like, that thing, it went bad so fast. It looked like the driving version of Mike Bloomberg's campaign, you know? <laughs> the police are doing what they can to stop package theft. But in many cases, you're gonna wanna call animal control as well. A Los Angeles homeowner can rest easy after learning who was stealing packages from his front door. You see it right there. Turns out it was this little guy. Surveillance video caught the sneaky squirrel in the act, grabbing an Amazon package and dragging it away. It appears the porch pirate has been pretty active. The owner says he frequently finds his packages in the bushes around the apartment complex. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, huh? <laughs> a squirrel stealing packages. I bet you thought it would be like a raccoon because they look like criminals with that mask. <laughs> but you know what? That's profiling. <laughs> because statistically, squirrels and raccoons steal at the same rate, but no one suspects the squirrels because of cute privilege. 